I guess uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. My heart goes doogie doogie because there's a motherfucking moth in here. Guys, if you guys see the moth um, in my stream somewhere, please don't mind, you know? The reason why I haven't killed it yet is because I cannot catch it, okay? It's right in my roof. Wait, can you guys see it? Can you see it? It's right there. <laughs> Wait, what? It's right there, yeah. Hello there. Can't catch it. But you know, you know what it is. What's up guys and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption And today we're gonna go to Rain Falls Rain Falls Okay We're gonna go to Rain Falls, talk to him about his sons, Eagle Flies Cause you know Eagle Flies been doing some stuff that when I was- Ooh The hell? I mean, what the heck? I'm trying not to cuss, but it's hard. What is going on? Can I help? Okay, sure. Good luck. Okay, fine, whatever. Bye, sir. I feel like I'm supposed to stay with him just to see what happens okay. next, but oh well. Who cares? Cause I don't. Um, yeah, we're gonna check out Rainfalls. Um, see what's happening. And tell him about his dumbass son. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really though. And see if Dutch is um, using eagle flies for his plan. His big plan. Cause he, cause he is, you know. He sure is. Okay, where is he? In one of the tents? It's not a tent, oh my god. I'm I'm not sure if what's the name is, I'm sorry. Oh it is a tent. Okay, never mind. Damn. Hello. Hello. Come in. <coughs> oh. You don't sound very well. Wayne's fall. Oh my god. Let me call nah. him just the wrong name. I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, Damn. I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. Right. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. 
I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? Hmm. I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. Down. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Yeah, sure. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Of course, of course. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? Uh. That was also my son's doing? No, no that was I'm us. Pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll oh. continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Where? Mortality and beauty are both all around oh. us. Oh. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. Go on, get out of here. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Oh. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. No, I want to talk. I want to talk. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? What? Oh, my bad. Yes, a little. Mostly from <laughs> your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. And this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe... There's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Let me give this some thought. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Mr. Oops. Morgan, sorry. We have one day without gunfire. I'm sorry. Hold up a moment. <laughs> some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Down. <laughs> This is for me? Hmm. I don't know if I should this come is with what him. I was looking for. English mace. Oh. Okay. Let's continue on. Arthur's son. You know, I had a son once. What? Years ago. He did? Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. Huh? When she got pregnant. She knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. What? She was too, I guess. Just a kid. Nineteen. What happened? 
I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through, robbed them, and shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Yeah. Hey. What? He had a I son? Now, try and make some things right. Huh. Okay. Huh. Wait. Stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Goddamn. Didn't know Arthur had a son all along. Huh. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't think of. Yeah, he probably. This will you know. Well. Probably did has you know some kids. <laughs> I just didn't really, I just didn't think Arthur was the type, you know. Damn, you right there. <laughs> damn, Wayne's fall. In your saddlebag. <laughs> you want to push me like that? Oh. Mix these together. Thank you. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Okay. Alright, let's uh, go. Hold on, can I... Can I eat Further those? Now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um... Arthur's sickness? Yeah. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in... Me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Hmm. Damn. Okay there, boy. Hmm. Can we talk more or are we done? Okay. But yeah, wow, interesting. I didn't know he had a son. <sighs> and you know what's interesting? The captain that's helping them, you know? Hmm, I guess there was people back then that was helping the Native Americans. Um. It's really interesting to see. And I'm, I guess he did. He doesn't want me to use violence, you know. When we ever, if we meet other people, to fight. I'm just wondering how this whole thing is gonna turn out with eagle flies and Dutch, and if there's any way like to stop it, you know. It's just up ahead. Yeah. Okay. Can I like what check out what he gave me? Happened? What? What happened? Hold on. Hold on, Eagle Flies. Not Eagle Flies, sorry. <laughs> Wings fall. It can't be. What? Oh! Man, that's fucked up. Wait, didn't we see this earlier? No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who would do this? Oh. Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. Okay, okay. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is Oh, it? this is so sweet. Ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Yeah. You know, I really love uh, Arthur's progressions. progression. You know, in his character development. He really, you know, really changed a lot in the first episodes we watched him. Damn. Who would do such a thing? I 
Uh, should we go up here, maybe? Oh. Man, they just effed up people, bro. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's continue on. More over here. Oh. Here we go. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Tunupa. Hmm. Okay. Ah, there's more stuff to see. Oh! Is it this one? No. This is logs. Uh, there's some logs here. They must eat. Uh, okay, there's something here there's too. Candle. Look there. Ah. Smoke. Smoke. Oh. They're still here then. Do you have any binoculars? Yeah. Oh. oh, there they are. These brave men. Some you could say favors men. <laughs> bitches. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? What the heck is going on? Not at all. But but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. Yeah. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No. Oh. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Okay. Get it back. Let's go, Arthur. Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Let's go. Would you do that? Yes. Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Okay, nice. Let's do it. Please see if they have our sacred items. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's go to the camp. Oh. Not me yeah. about to take his horse. <laughs> okay. Let's go and get this. Get his thing back. But yeah. Oh! Look out. Look out. Look out. We gotta. Careful now. Careful now. But yeah. Wow. All this development in this, what does I show, but in this game, has been tremendous. Love his character, you know. Really love it. Ah! Whoa! Okay, let's just let's just go slow. Hold on. Ah! Uh, can I take this one? Okay, can I also take this one? Hold on. Yeah, I want this one too. Yeah. So, oh. Okay. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Y'all, I'm not good at this. Seems so silly though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? What do you mean who cares? My uncle Mary. Oh. He's right there? In any way. She seemed nice enough. An Indian. Sure looked like one. <laughs> 
Guys, I'm so nervous. They got Indians in Canada. Where is it? Is it there? French folk too. No. Y'all don't see me. Is France near Canada then? No. Where is it? Is it here? France is near. Is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians from here. Bruh. Where are you from? Hold on. Where is the thing? Is it there? Me? I'm Polish. From Milwaukee. Hmm. I don't even know where it is. Is it right? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or what? Uh. Hello? Y'all don't see me though. Uh! Come on, bruh. How can I do this? Hello. Is it this one? Hey, I heard something. Huh? What's that? Hello, guys. We got it. Ah! That's it for you. Uh, hold on. I'm not trying to kill anybody. Did I get it? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'm not even taking damage, bro. That's funny. Okay. Go, Arthur. Go. Go, Arthur. Rains fall. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm not trying to kill anybody, okay? Just for his fault. We're turning. Come on, let's go, let's go. Woo, that was nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That was really nerve wracking. That was kind of scary. I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. As if I was like there, you know? Hey, Wayne's fall. I got your stuff. It's right here. You know, I didn't take any damage, surprisingly. You just tell me you found it. Yep, I did. For you, my friend. If I can go close to you. What the heck? There we go. There you go. Here. <laughs> I, uh, what I got the your heck? Things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Nope. No one was killed. Well done. Well done. You know what? Pat Call on the back for me. Such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. I don't want it. I don't but want please your. Please take this. Oh. We believe it to be. Sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, Arthur is so Take wise. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Hmm. Oh lord, okay. You know, Arthur... Mwah, He's self... a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. I know that's right. Good Arthur. You're a good man. Okay. Now Arthur like his development from the first episode is like fantastic. Ooh. Oh my god, the water is so clear. I love this. Okay, where should we go? 
Okay, Hamish is he's right there. But you know what? Guys, I choose not to go, okay? I have chosen not to go. Captain Monroe. Oh he's the okay, he's the guy that's that's helping the Native Americans. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Charlotte. Okay, let's go to Charlotte. And help her. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then we're gonna go to um, what the heck am I going? Girl. And we're gonna go to Saint Denis. Because I wanna get a weapon there. <laughs> Apparently there's a gun store that I need to get. Uh I wanna do that. Okay. Cause I want a better gun. I feel like I've been bamboozled sometimes. Oh. Who is this? Hello? You ain't looking for gold here, is ya? Cause, uh, I called it. <laughs> you did? Alright, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> you know, the old me, I'll be like, let's rob him. But you know what? We're good now, you know, we got good energy. We got blessed, good vibes. We don't need all that. We don't need the gold. Yep. We already have the money. Look at this. Yeah, look yep. at this money. And look at our- oh my god, look at this. Look at this. We are so good. Damn. <laughs> I want to see if there's like the... Um... Cute. Wait. Can I just... Where is the dang thing? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna just eat this. Yep. Sorry, Hamish. Not today. We're gonna do that at some point. <laughs> another point. Apparently, you can do that at another point. I didn't know that. I didn't even know like this game had a, like an epilogue. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I'm like, how are you going to continue? <laughs> you know? I'm still like not getting over the fact that Arthur will die. You know? I'm still like not processing this. I'm kind of like in denial. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm den in denial about this whole thing. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna stay to Lulu until it happens. <laughs> Cause I'm not I'm not believing it. I'm really not. How you guys been doing? You know for me. Thank you for asking. For me, I'm just, you know, I'm just out here. Work uh work I work a lot, a lot. I cannot think working out. Um, I've been starting to work out a lot more, guys, and I love it. I love working out. I think I've just been like not one of those girlies that would love working out. I'm just, I'm just like, ugh, like who would love that, you know? And now I love it. I think I get it now. I think the gym girlies, you know? Hold on, let me just see. Uh. I think the gym girl is right, you know, about working out. <laughs> but I actually love it. It's really like therapeutic Come on now, when boy. working out. Yep. For me, I need to like listen to like a lot of hip hop music to like get really get going. I know some do like some people just listen to podcasts when working out. Or when I can listen. Oh my god, when working out. Um, for me, I don't get that because it's like, well, how can you like focus? when you listen to a podcast. For me, I just need to listen to some, you know, hip-hop music. Um, uh, I don't know, anime openings. Like, I just listen to all that kind of thing. To just, you know, get going. But yeah, I really love working out, guys. Do you like, uh, do you guys like working out too? Or is it just me? Yeah. Well, I really like it. Oh, what's this? What the heck is that? Ooh. Here we are. Moose? It's got some ground. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go get the moose, I guess. Uh. 
Do you want to get the moose now? I don't know if I want to get it now. Ugh, I need to go back then. You're fine. Let's go back. But yeah, in uh, in terms of the gym, y'all, I feel like I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like um, I have I haven't really been consistent in the gym. Um, due to just I want like things to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? Like I want everything to be perfect, and if it's not perfect, then I'm like, okay, I don't want to do it then, you know? Wait, I think I lost it. I lost track. Oh, is it that? Oh, who is this? Oh, it's another one. I thought it was the moose. Hello. Out of the damn way. How you doing? Hey, Mister. No, they'll just uh, interrupt your. You know, a good place. Get some food. I can't say. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm just fine without your company, and that don't need to change. Chill, bro. I was just asking. You don't need to be all aggressive like that. Hey, Charlotte. How you doing? Oh. The heck? Where's the entry? Here it is. <laughs> my, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. Well, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh. You did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. I... Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. <laughs> what happened to Mary, Arthur? Oh, Arthur. Let's go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Damn! Oh. Well, that's very kind. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's go in. <laughs> Give me all that! Give me all that! You're so- oh, No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding y'all. Damn. Y'all- Y'all really thought I was do that. Y'all really thought I was gonna do that. No, 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 no. We're gonna not do that. But damn! What happened to Mary, Arthur? <laughs> damn. Arthur's like a- He's a charmer, isn't he? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, he is. If you looked at his like younger pictures, he looked good. I mean, he still looked good, but now, but. <laughs> but okay. Anyways, you have yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, what I was saying in terms of the gym is that I've been working out consistently now, and it's really fun. I think the reason why I haven't really oh. What the heck is this? What do you do? Oh, don't mind me. Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. Huh? Hey, what are you ah! doing there? Peace and love. We're peace and love. <laughs> we're peace and love. And one thing that I noticed, y'all, with being consistent in the gym, is that you know what? Let's just let's just go here. I want to go here. Is that it's low-key a luxury to do this. It's a luxury in terms of like getting the healthy foods that you need. You know, tracking your macros in terms of like that. It is, whether you like it or not, it is a privilege. Because uh, healthy food grocery shopping is really expensive. Nowadays it's really expensive. It's not cheap, y'all. And when people are like, saying like, oh yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. Like, you know, just buy the vegetables. You can just grow your own vegetables. It's really cheap. It's like, bro. Sorry, in my opinion, this this is a very privileged thing to like say. If you can choose what kind of food you want to eat, that's a privileged thing. Let's be honest now. What's this? Easy. 
Wait, is that a house? Huh. Yeah, I'll have to draw that. <laughs> I wonder who lived here. Huh. This looks like a, like, a hobbit's home. Can I go in? <gasps> Can I, like, try to get inside? That looks like a... Yeah, a hobbit's home, basically. I like that. Can I, like, try? <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to see! Okay, never mind. I guess I can't. <laughs> I'm guessing I cannot. Unfortunately. Okay, here we are. Captain Monroe. I like your name. Mr. Morgan. Hello. Hello. You're a good man. Uh, I am, as promised. Yes. I'm sorry, y'all. I just see the mouth going right beside here. Yo. Captain Monroe. Oh. Course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Oh my God. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but... Ah! Ah! Sorry! Oh my god! <laughs> it just flew right, like, over the camera. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry, guys. Wait, hold on. Can I, like, get that? Can I... Oh my god, sorry. I need to get him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I need to, like, get it. What the fuck? You know how I um, know pretty privilege exists? Is that we don't kill butterflies, but we kill moths. And they're like the exact same thing. And look at. <laughs> and I'll be overreacting, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just that it looks so ugly. But hey. But I don't like any bugs. Like if, it, I, if I see a bug, it doesn't matter if it's a butterfly or anything else. If I see a bug, I'm a one away. Literally. And I don't even know where it is now, it's just gone. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Yeah. Okay. I like the energy, Arthur. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Okay, Arthur. I love his uh, justice mindset. Oh, so this <laughs> Colonel Faber. He knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. Mm. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. And I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes. And taking their horses. I mean... I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morton. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. 
I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. Okay. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. Okay, okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Okay. I just know definitely Dutch will not like this. He'd be like, right. what the hell? This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top. But we don't care about Dutch anymore. So it's fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I need to give me some energy. Here you go. You okay, boy? Oh, that's not that's not me. That's my horse. <laughs> Oops. Watch out! Sorry, bro. Give me some energy. Give me some energy. God. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. Okay, okay. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Okay, I'm I'm not supposed to kill anyone, right? I can probably guess that. <laughs> I swear, this fl uh, this moth flies this over me again. Okay, you're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Come on, Arthur. Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. Right. You say so. Like. There. Think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as got they you, come. Bro. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go. Wait, am I supposed to do this with the horse? Oh, I think I was supposed to... <laughs> no, I was supposed to do this with the horse! Oh, fuck. Damn. I just thought we were just gonna jump in, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Come on, horsey! Hurry up! Down. Let's go, boy. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, you better put that down right now. We'll have a fire if we have to. Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Yeah. Are you insane? We're the United States Army. That's it. Um, that ah! Dude. I don't want to kill y'all. Oh, my God. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. No. Hey, don't Help shoot me. Please. I just want to jump in the wagon. God damn. Can I do that? Ah! Yeah. You know what? Fuck this. Okay. Sorry. Had to do it. <laughs> you know, I said peace and love. But just for this one, I'm not gonna be peace and love. 
I'm not gonna be... <laughs> you know, they deserved it. They deserved it. That's how I can justify it. There we go. Okay, that was not that bad. We just need to like greet some people and then we go up again. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna be like, did you kill anyone? I'll be like, mm, I don't know. Did I? Did I kill anyone? You tell me. Here we are. We're back with the medicine. But this isn't good really because I just killed two men and that's gonna reflect badly on the, you know, on the Native Americans. Captain Monroe. Yikes. I got the medicine. Oh. Wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. <laughs> yeah. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Right. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Oh, that's sweet. All right. <laughs> um, let's go. Yeah. Now. To, who is this? Joshua Trelawney? What? Since when does this... I thought he disappeared. Forever. Actually. No way. Wait, wait, should I speak to him first? Or should I just... No, I actually do want to speak to Trelawney. It's been a while, actually. Yeah, I want to go back. I want to go back and check him out. Check him out. <laughs> also that. Um, but I just want to go back and, you know, see what's happening. I didn't even know, like, <laughs> I completely forgot about Trelawney. I completely forgot. But damn. But I think he's gonna leave too, because this group is, like, splitting up now. Also, it's interesting how to, um, how to see, like, Arthur's development throughout this game. How he... Oh, damn. How he, um... Down. How he became the person that he is now. It's me. Arthur, dumbass. <laughs> Never changed. And how he is now, you know, from a cold blooded murderer to a kind hearted man that could not hurt a fly. Ooh. We all just gonna get shot like any other hoodlum. Put down like any other pest. And all that stuff we believed in. Damn. Just something to make us better at killing folk. Faster at running away. Speaker shit, John Morston. <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess it is what it is, and right now this is it. Ain't never gonna see my son grow up. Ain't never gonna atone for my sins. Ain't never nothing but gonna get shot for him. Don't say that. I hope God can forgive me for what I've done on this earth, because ain't much I'm proud of. A whole lot I hope he's forgotten about. What do you mean? You are gonna live. What? Obviously. Reverend. Oh, hello, Arthur. Hello. You okay? What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. For now. Hey, Bill. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? Yeah. Maybe. If it comes to it. Exactly. Let's not, you know, do that. I think everybody's going to sleep now. Hey, Karen. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <laughs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know 
something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Girl, keep off the alcohol. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace yeah, yeah. and contentment. What a crock of shit this world is. We get it, girl. We get it. Hey. Oh, Uncle. Cool. Hi, Arthur. Okay. Talk to me, Josiah. How you been doing? How stuff? Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Oh. Perhaps. You uh, won't. What do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Oh, damn. Just like that. Goodbye, Josiah. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Wayne's fall. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate so. us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <laughs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. No. Nah. Charles and me, we're like this. We're like this. Always. I wonder if Charles know that, you know, we're not gonna live this way. so I long. I have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Okay. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. Right. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. Of course. You will be at the meeting and as one person who knows the true situation at least, I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I wonder how we can ever like be able to stop eagle flies, you know? But I have a feeling we cannot, unfortunately. But I am 
like wondering how often it's gonna stop all this. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. Also with the fact that we don't have you know long live long enough to live. I wonder how many weeks yeah. is gonna go until like we really deteriorate. How long is it? Here we are. There's my that. men up ahead. Hello. Coming past. Right. Hold. We trust you, Kayla. Now, Kula, which young people? Hilpo, Unyapi, Kaylo. This way. I don't feel like it's gonna go good. I feel like they're not gonna listen. They're not gonna take them seriously. Hi. Oh God. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Um, <laughs> oh. Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? Huh? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. F you, bro. <sighs> Pull Listen, up. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking <gasps> Damn, also, not you die in the back. <laughs> made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But oh my god. <laughs> I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. <laughs> so, let me be very... Are you okay, man? No. Jackson, I'm take not him okay. Away. Need Where water. You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? What no, the heck sir, is facetious? Chief Rains. That's uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. <laughs> Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Damn. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial. Oh. Or oh no. Attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe. He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy or a spy. Oh. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. Oh, shit. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Oh, damn. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Uh oh. Poor Mumro. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. We need to do something. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. Come on, Arthur. What are we Feel gonna better? do? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> Did you even get water from me? The lands you currently <laughs> occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? 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 Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, 
That was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Oh. Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. Yep. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Let's go. Ego. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Oh, God. Okay, let's get out of here. Get off me. Hold on. I got a shot. Open fire. Ah! Shit. This way. Oh my god. Of course this isn't gonna work out. Yeah. I mean this wasn't gonna work out either way. Look out behind them. Obviously. We're we gonna I shoot them? Ah. Don't worry, I will shoot them for you. Huh? What'd you call me? Oh god, keep forgetting this is like... This is like the times. Okay. Oh! Yes. Hold on. Why can't you do it? What do you mean? Just oh my god, that shouldn't matter. I see you. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, behind you, behind us. Why is there so many, bro? God damn. I thought you could run away. He stopped. Okay, this one here. This one here. Oh. Well, you really thought it was gonna be a truce? Like, come on, how delusional can it be? Like, let's not, like. Let's not be delusional now. I see, bro. I see. I know. I can tell. What are you saying? I'm not even listening. Peekaboo! I'm right here! <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go. Ah, my lady's sleeping. Be sure as hell I don't wanna hang around here. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh lord. We got both coming in. Aye. Damn. Ah, I cannot shoot them. Okay, there we go. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. <laughs> what do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take it. Oh! Oh! Oops! <laughs> get on. <laughs> My bad. So, anyway, you get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. Same. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. 
They was gonna have you hanged for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Dude, just leave the whole thing. <coughs> <coughs> God, Arthur is getting worse, sir. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. Mm. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Yeah, just give him some money. So he can survive. Give some money. <laughs> take him, get out of here, and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. <laughs> <laughs> just hop on a train of sand and then jump funny. on a boat. But avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Hey! Uh, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're oh. finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, he's getting closer. <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> <laughs> I just like but tired. I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Aww. Goodbye. Sister. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, um, did not expect him to say I'm afraid. That was actually like so horrible welcome, to hear. Welcome. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Cause him admitting that he's afraid just makes it all real, you know. 
that he's really gonna die now. I feel like everybody's just leaving him, you know? I feel like all the people that is good to Arthur, like, just see that this is the best in him, just leaves him. I know, like, this is, like, very, like, well, of course, you know. You know, Mary left him. Now sister left. We're gonna- John is gonna leave too, you know, with his family. And it's like, who- who does Arthur has left, you know? Who does he have left? Yeah. Charles? I mean, he's gonna do his own thing. Shit, man. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect the- oh my god, I didn't expect that. Shit. Okay, I think this is the only one left. The saving one. Okay. Oh, but yeah, I don't. It just makes it all real now that he's gonna die. I think that's what I'm really like, just afraid of. And how is this? How is it gonna happen? You know. I hope, like, really, I do hope it's gonna be peaceful and it's gonna be like very a good, a good ending to this. It better be because you know, I fought hard for this, for this ending. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna end this episode now, guys. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>